Hi guys, welcome back. So today I'm here for a really quick video, well hopefully it'll be quick because I don't know why this would be super long. Um, but I'm going to be showing you how I've been grooming my eyebrows. Please mind all the background noise because my mum seems to always make noise, especially when I film a video for some reason. Anyways, I'm going to show you how I groom my brows. It's more waxing. Before it was hair removal cream and then I used to get them threaded, but then I've stopped all that. Hair removal cream, like facial hair removal cream, is actually not that bad. It's quite good actually, but I've gone to um, waxing because the hair grows um, like thinner and uh, less quicker, if that makes sense. Yeah, I realised that when I use wax, it takes longer to grow back. Some people say it's not good to use wax on the face because it pulls out the skin, but I just feel like that's the best method for me until I can manage to get like laser treatment. I am obviously bare faced because obviously I'm going to wax my skin, I just don't see the need of wearing makeup in this video so I hope you guys don't mind that. Um, the wax strips that I always use is these uh, Veet Precision Wax Strips. It says this one's good for normal skin, it's got shea butter and acai berries fragrance, it has a nice fragrance and it's easy to remove even the shortest hairs for up to 28 days of smoothness. So yeah, I actually do agree with that because it takes so long for the hairs to go back once I've done this and my hairs are like, my eyebrows are all in some type of shape right now. And it says that you can use this on your upper lip, cheeks and chin. I use it for my upper lip and my brow hairs around here. So yeah, um, it comes with 20 strips. They come like this. You guys see, have seen me use these before in one of my videos. So what I like to do is I take one of these and kind of split them in two and you want to warm it up in your hands like so. This is just going to help to warm up the wax up. You don't have to do it for too long. So then what I do is I grab my scissors. These are like kind of my, my brow scissors. They look like this. And I'm just going to... Basically, I hope this is focusing. I'm going to cut right on the edge of the wax. So then it's like this. Okay, this is kind of like a before of my brows. They're not in the best shape and I have a lot of hair, as you can tell. I get so much hair here and here and here basically everywhere okay so what I like to do is I'm gonna peel the wax so and then I am going to so kind of like shape my brow Then press and then you want to pull out oh. so as you can tell this is the manky part but I had a lot of hairs it did grab some of my hairs but you can tell like it's grabbed a lot of my brow hairs can you see like you literally see the line where it took it off like it's so smooth okay I'm gonna tie my hair up actually like so Then you want to pull it off, look how smooth it is. Hairs here as well. So I don't know if you can see, like I've got a bit of a pointy arc here, so I'm just going to take a few hairs off. To cut the second one up I always do the top bit first so and it actually does really smell nice it smells like berries literally okay so I'm gonna line that up again
and then I kind of tug at the skin and pull off so what I do with the residue I kind of remove all this hair here like I don't like this because it's so annoying so I kind of just remove just a little bit from here you might think this is weird you don't have to do this but I just do it because I just like all these little baby hairs like are so frustrating you see the difference like it's crazy and then I'm gonna take a bit and put it right in the center here and then pull this is why I get a lot of like weird hairs Okay, so that's it in terms of like waxing. Another thing that I do is I kind of bring the hairs up like this. I think I've done it recently, so I don't need to do much of this, but I just kind of clean up the top. kind of just makes the inner ones kind of stand up and then I'm going to take my tweezers and just basically clean everywhere here Okay, so I'm done tweezing so these uh, wax stri strips come with like face oil kind of sachets and it helps to remove like any excess wax you have on your skin so it comes like this I've already opened this one I'm just gonna use this to remove any excess because I've got some wax in some areas Like, I really think that helps to like shape it and then once you fill them in it's fine I really want to get some microblading done here just to like you know for those days where you just want to I spend too much time on my brows and I'm just sick of it you know like brows are not my favorite thing to do so yeah can you see how more defined I mean they are a bit of a different shape because this one has more of an arc than this one but when I fill them in it's different um, but yeah that's what I really do and I do the same thing for my moustache but I've already made a video on that so if you guys want to check that video out it'll be linked in the info box but um, yeah I think that's it really I hope this 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 video was easy and hopefully you learned something from it I mean this is how I kind of do my brows now and I just thought I'd share it with you guys because it's just convenient you can do it at home if you guys have any questions ask them in the comments below and please bear in mind that I'm not a professional I'm not a wax lady I just do this at home so, you know, I just thought I'd share it with you guys and you can try it out but definitely do a patch test first which is super important because my sister has super sensitive skin and some like we definitely need to do that, do that for her but in any way like you still need to do it just to see if your skin's gonna react to it or not but yeah I think that's it guys thanks so much for watching this video if you liked it give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you're new to my channel I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video bye